Welcome to another edition of A New Me, your weekly consultation with the Washington, D.C. area's best doctors and professionals. Our guest experts help you learn about the latest medical advances and procedures by providing you with the real information necessary to help you eliminate the dangers of making the wrong medical and cosmetic enhancement decisions. Get ready for your consultation. Coming up, we will be on location at Shady Grove Chiropractic discussing advancements in chiropractic treatment with one of this area's top chiropractors, Dr. Grace Lohr. Dr. Lohr is a graduate from the National College of Chiropractic and is recognized as one of this area's leading chiropractors. Welcome, Dr. Lohr. Thank you. Thank uh, you. It's our pleasure to have you on your first time, in fact, on our program. Yes, it is. We've got a lot to talk about. We also have some patients that are going to be joining us a bit later in the program. Right. Let me begin by asking you if you can please tell us, Dr. Lohr, what are some of the most common problems that people experience when it comes to pain? Rocco, we see everyone who comes in from headaches to neck pain, upper back pain, lower back pain, hip pain pain shooting down the arm, pain shooting down the leg. So we see a, a variety of people, um, and chiropractic is able to deal with the vast majority of the issues. Now, why are these problems in these areas so common? I mean, we hear about a lot of what you just described, that how it affects so many folks out there. Well, most of it's, it's our lifestyle. It's, it's the way we live. Um, with, the, with the computers now, almost everybody works on a computer, whether you yeah. do it for a living or, or just for pleasure or play games on it. Um, check your email, surf the web. Um, we spend a lot of time on the computer, it, the driving in the crazy traffic here in the D.C. area, um, gardening, looking after small children. Um, there's a lot of ways that, that yeah. your body is put through a lot of different stresses. Even poor sleeping uh, habits yes. will, will affect your, your posture. And if you don't sit well and if you don't stand well and you do that repetitively, you're going to um, do damage to your muscles and that's going to put pressure on the, on the uh, bones and, and interfere with the alignment of the, of the bones. Yeah, and what you just described, Dr. Lohr, some of those causes of these problems, they're, they're things that we all do deal with and cope with and go through every day of our lives in many cases. Yes. So you're right. So the cumulative effect of all these things, depending on each individual's body, over time eventually will, can result and does result, uh, unfortunately, with these type of problems that you mentioned as far as pain goes. Yes. Dr. Laura, I wanted to ask you if you can tell us what's the typical age range of a, of a candidate that would come to a chiropractor like yourself where they're at that stage where the effect of the daily lives that we all have takes its toll and the pain starts, whether it's our lower back or our neck or other areas, I need to come and seek professional help. Well, Rocco, um, you know, I can, I can see patients from the time they're very young to when they're very old. So, you know, if you think of the birth process, it can be very traumatic and can have uh, interference to the nervous system. So they may be, need to be checked after birth. They may need, the babies may need to be checked when they start to walk. And then when you get to the elementary, they have all the childhood play and, and they can have growth spurts. And then they get into high school and of course they're invincible. So they do crazy things, uh, but yet they can hurt themselves. And then you, you grow up and, and you, you, go to, you go on with life and you get a job sitting at a computer and you get cumulative effects there or you raise the children and you're taking care of the children. And then as you get older, because the discs in, the, in your back do not have a good uh, blood supply, you start to stiffen up. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, 40s and 50s, you, you see patients. And then when the patient is a geriatric patient, I see a lot of geriatric patients also because you want to have quality of life even when you're older. Yes. So there's really, there's never anyone who's too young for chiropractic care, and there's really never anyone who's too old for chiropractic care. So I see, I see the whole range. Um, as far as the cumulative effect, you know, 40s and 50s is a real big time yes. to, to hit that. But uh, I, do, I do treat patients from, from all ages and, and as they go through their life cycle. Well, it's certainly very good to know. I appreciate you letting us know that. What would you say are some of the most effective treatments for these problems, doctor? Rocco, some of the most effective treatments is the chiropractic adjustment. The bones that are out of alignment, I'm going to restore the motion and function to those joints, okay, through the specific chiropractic manipulation. Now, I may also use some adjunctive therapies uh, to help um, pain relief and inflammation and tissue healing, and they might be ice, moist heat, 
uh, manual uh, massage of the muscles, electric stim, uh, low-level laser, traction, and also nutritional advice and lifestyle uh, advice. So there's a lot of things that, that, that we can use, but of course the key is, is the chiropractic adjustment. Yes, indeed, and that's where it all starts in, yes. in, in helping eliminate these problems or at least alleviate them. Right. I know this would vary depending on the patient and the severity of their problem, but in general, Dr. Lore, what would you say to all of us here, uh, not just myself, but the folks watching, would you say is the typical time that it, a patient would realize that they're getting relief from the pain after they start coming to you? Are we well, looking a treatment in, two treatments in? Well, I would say between, between three to six would be average. Okay. But there are some people who get immediate relief um, after just one treatment. But that's, and, and people who have come in with chronic problems, they're going to take a little bit longer. But, you know, within about three to six treatments, I think that you'll, you'll, you'll see a, a good um, amount of relief. And I take it those would be done over a couple of weeks, three to six or um, something, maybe, maybe a week or maybe two? Maybe one to two. That's pretty, that's pretty fast, Dr. Lore. Uh, that's fast as far as coming in, suffering from different levels of pain in different parts of our bodies, to come into a chiropractor like yourself and start feeling a lot better. That's, that can change a life. Sure. Chiropractic's awesome. Yes, indeed. Now, what would you say are some of the advantages of these chiropractic treatments that you've uh, briefly described here thus far, as opposed to the traditional methods, uh, i.e. pain medication, surgery, so on and so forth? Well, you know, with, with pain medication, you're going to have, um, you know, side effects. Uh, depending on how much you take, you can have, irritate the stomach. You can have uh, liver and kidney damage. The, 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 the body has to detoxify those. I understand it's necessary at times, but there are side effects. And as far as surgery, we want to keep that as rare as possible. And um, you know, I've, been, I've been in practice approximately 20 years, and I've only had about 15 patients have to have spinal surgery. So... I would always try conservative care first. You, you, you want to try to avoid surgery. Is it necessary? Sometimes. Is, are pain medications necessary? Yeah. Sure. If, if you're miserable, absolutely. But you don't want to be on them long term. And so there are side effects to it. And, and that's why I would, would always try conservative care. No, uh, I think that's first. very well said. You're absolutely right because surgery should always be, as you just touched on, the last resort. Yes. And pain medications do cause those types of problems and side effects that really could affect us uh, down the road with continued use of those medications. Right. So coming to a chiropractor like yourself, having an adjustment, obviously, or more, going through the treatments that you've touched on here today, certainly is the way, the optimal way to go to a reduce, if not eliminate the pains that we suffer from. Absolutely. Are the results permanent? Well, for the, for the patients who go through the whole program and, and do the spinal rehabilitation, a lot of the results can be permanent. Uh, there's always the potential to have be re-injured. There's always the potential to get in a new accident or, or something of that nature. But if you, if you do the whole program and you do the spinal um, rehabilitation and then you maintain it, um, doing your exercises at home, coming in for, for um, a maintenance adjustment every month or so, you can really do very well. So um, yes, yes, it's permanent with as long as you don't get re-injured or, or something sure. of that nature. And that would be the case with anything. Sure. Uh, when one goes to a dentist, you know, to get poor, uh, veneers and you smile right. or, or you have, go to a plastic surgeon for something, the, just like here, obviously with chiropractic care, a different specialty, but the theme persists that once you're taken care of, you're healed, you're recovered, you're feeling a lot better, certainly as you go through life, you could always re-injure yourself, sure. but that's not related to the treatment that corrected the problem. Correct. And that's very important to know, and I appreciate you telling us that, doctor. Sure. We're now going to meet three patients of Dr. Lors. Welcome, Daphne. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on. We appreciate it whenever patients take time in their very busy lives to come down and share some of their experiences with us. And on that note, I wanted to begin, Daphne, by asking you, if I may, what experiences as far as pain were you going through prior to coming to Dr. Orr? Were you suffering from back pain, neck pain? Can you tell us about it? Yes, I was suffering from lower back pain. And the problem had been going on for about three weeks, getting progressively worse. And I was kind of, you know, saying, well, maybe it's because I'm working out more. You know, it'll heal itself. Well, it was hurting me to sit down, hurting me to lay down, and nothing worked. Oh, my goodness. So wait a minute. You're telling me, and all of us for that matter, 
that you had a lot of pain just laying down, which would obviously affect your sleep. Correct. Not to mention sitting down, which means you have a job, I sitting take it. Work, sitting oh in front my. of a computer all day. Oh, my God. So yes. how did you cope with that? Anti-inflammatories and pain medication. Oh, my goodness. So then what happened? You were suffering from the lower back pain. Obviously, you just told us about that. What was the next step? What brought you to Dr. Lore? I needed relief. And I'm not a big on pain medication, and I have to be able to function during the day. And I'm active, so I said I have to do something now. So when I looked online and I found that she was close and convenient to the job, made my appointment. Oh, you're right here from the Gaithersburg area. Though. Correct. Rockville. Yes, Rockville. Okay, great. So then you came here, you set up a consult with Dr. Laura. Yes. And can you give us a little brief idea of what took place? Well, she reviewed my, um, my x-rays and discussed it with me and um, stated that, you know, she could help me alleviate some pain and try to adjust my spine because there was a little curvature in the lower part of the, the spine there. Okay. And this was my, after my fifth visit, it's considerably changed. I mean, I can sit down and I can function without needing pain medication. Oh my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm excited. After only a few visits, a few you're visits. able to sit down again. I take it you're able to get a, right, a night's rest now. Yes. You can sleep yes. again. After my visits with her, that's the best night's sleep that night. I still have a little discomfort, but no major pain where it requires me to take medication. Yeah, and again, A little stiffness, but we have a plan, so we're working through to get me back to where I was. And you're already feeling a lot better in the few uh, weeks that you've already been with Much Dr. Laura. Well, Much I'm better. very happy to hear that. And for the folks out there that are watching who are suffering or, or are suffering from what you were prior to coming to Dr. Laura, what would you tell them? With this being my very first experience with a chiropractor, I would tell them if they're experiencing any type of back pain and they need some relief, they need to give her a call. Because, I mean, she, it's her office is just welcoming. Feel so comfortable, and she explains everything to you. Yes. Well, you're very happy, and I and am. I'm, and you're getting rest again, and yes, you're able I to am. work again, and, and drive words, comfortably. And drive. Yes. Oh my God! Yes, the <laughs> traffic. Imagine sitting in that like you were yes. prior to coming here. So I'm very happy to hear that you're on your way to a full recovery and back to that person that you were before, before the pain had taken over. And on that note, I'd like to thank you, Daphne, for joining us and being a guest in our program. Oh, thank you again, Rocco. It was our pleasure. Welcome, Lee. Thank you. It's oh, nice it's, to be here. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on as well. I, I wanted to begin by asking you, uh, as far as problems, pain, what were you going through? What were you experiencing before you came to Dr. Lore? For my latest episode that I came to see Dr. Lore, it started on Super Bowl Sunday, where I had a hip problem that progressed by the time halftime rolled around, I could barely walk. Oh, my God. So I ended up in the ER. I spent four hours in the ER. They gave me a lot of medication injections, did x-rays, and there really wasn't anything they could do for me. Yeah. Called Dr. Lore the next morning, probably about 20 hours after I've had the medication because I was out sure. all day, just out of it from the medication. And um, told her what happened, came in, came in with crutches, left without the crutches. So the first treatment really helped a lot. It took probably two to three weeks to really get it under control all the way. But there was a significant difference just from our first adjustment in, uh, in My seeing her. Goodness. So it was, so you, I told her that day they should have chiropractors in the ER. I think that it would save a lot of, a lot of time and uh, really help patients in the ER as well. Yes, indeed. So basically you had a hip problem flare up right mm -hmm. during the day of the Super Bowl. Yep. And it got to the point where you, you had to go to the emergency room. Lots of medication. They couldn't help you. Right. You come to Dr. Laura the next day. You come in with crutches. I mean, I find that amazing. You come in with crutches and you leave without crutches after one adjustment. Yes. That talks uh, very loudly to the kind of work and results uh, that you can gain from a chiropractor like Dr. Laura, certainly. Absolutely. She's great. And I've been seeing her for a few years as long as, as well as my children. So she's really done a lot of good for all of us. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. And what, if I may ask, Lee, what are the ages of your kids? My children are two and six. So they both come to Dr. Laura. They do. That's well, you see that experience. <laughs> yes, indeed. That just shows that you're never too young or never too old to come to a chiropractor to really keep everything the way it should be. Absolutely. Now, to the folks out there watching, what would you say about Dr. Laura to them? I think she's a great physician. She very much cares about her patients. I mean, it's to the point even with a hip injury, if something was going on and it was her day off, 
if I needed something, I can give her a call. She really takes care of the whole person and not just one area. It wasn't my hip. I'm not a hip to her or a back to her. I'm Lee, the patient, and she takes care of all of me, as well as my children. And she's great about making adjustments because as I come in with my two-year-old, sometimes he's running around the table as we're working. So she just incorporates him in. He'll be her little helper under her, the activator. So <laughs> she's great about incorporating everybody in there. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. And on that note, I'd like to thank you as well, Lee, for joining us and being a guest in our program. And thanks for taking the time to come down. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Welcome, Joe. Hello, Rocco. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on as well today. Well, thank I want you. to thank you for coming down. And My pleasure. To, uh, it's our pleasure as well. And I wanted to begin by asking you, Joe, what problem or problems were you experiencing prior to coming to Dr. Lore? Well, I've had back problem, lower back problem for years. I okay. heard it when I was in college and it's been a chronic problem ever since. Oh. And I can sort of build up, you know, get to a point where it just sort of freezes up on me and I can't do anything and I need to seek relief. Oh my goodness. And so this pastime was just one of those episodes. I get to the point where uh, it's, it's not even something major that triggers it. It can be just bending over to pick up a piece of paper. Yeah. It's just been the prior activity that built up to it that sure. caused it to be misaligned or whatever the problem was. Sure. So basically, like you said, even the littlest thing like bending over to get something or making a sudden turn or right. whatever we all go through in life and right. do in our daily lives can literally cause that uh, lower back pain to really flare up. Right. And so what brought you to Dr. Lore then? How did you hear about her? Well, actually, I had come to see a doctor, Dr. Owens, who was in this practice prior to Dr. Lore. Okay. And I had seen Dr. Owens for many, many years, and she moved out of state. Oh. And Dr. Lore took over the practice here, and I've been coming to see Dr. Lore ever since then. So it's been a few years? So then? it's been a couple of years now, yes. All right. And uh, I take it you're fine, and, and you're coming in occasionally or regularly for treatment? Yeah, I'm in good shape now, thanks to Dr. Lore. All right. Um, I started in about... Uh, about a month or a month and a half ago with another major problem in my back. Okay. Uh, it was at the point where it was hard to walk, it's hard to sit, hard to lie down, hard to do anything sure. without incurring a lot of pain. Oh boy. A lot um, like Daphne then uh, in, like in Daphne. that area. Right. But yours is more right. chronic, obviously. You've had it for a long period yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah. So you, we came to Dr. Laura a couple of years ago. She took care of what was ailing you at that time with your lower back. Right. And then some time passed and then obviously you just said something else flared up in that region. Right. So you're back to, uh, came back to Dr. Laura and, and I exactly. take it you're feeling better again? Yeah, it's much improved. I'm back to normal, back to doing my normal activities. That's wonderful. Yeah, and how long, yeah. if I may ask Joe, did these treatments take that you've had done? Uh, are we looking at, a, for the viewers out there, are they looking, can they, is it something they can come and have taken care of in a half hour, an hour, or what's involved a little bit as far as time commitment? Well, usually in the beginning, when uh, my back is really, really bad, she usually likes to see me two or three times a week. Okay. In the beginning, but there are no more than a half hour session. Oh, that's that's nothing. Then. Uh, so, and it's easy to get an appointment. So it's it's pretty easy to work it into my schedule, and uh, so it's it, that works out really well. Yeah. So it sort of tails off after time. After I've been doing this for two or three weeks, it usually takes that long to calm down the inflammation. Okay. that has been uh, triggered. And um, she does a, a combination of manipulations and a biofreeze. It's some type of an ointment mm. that she puts on and the, usually an electrical stimulation. Oh my. Um, in addition to that. And that's all to try to calm the in inflammation. Well, it's certainly doing the job as you're uh, back yeah. to normal again. Yeah. And yeah. I wanna thank you, Joe, as well. And for the viewers out there watching, what would you tell them about Dr. Lore? Well, um, don't wait too long. That's what I always do. I wait until I'm sort of in an emergency situation yeah. and then come in to get an adjustment where um, I think that the best thing I could do, and I think many other people might be in the same boat, is to get some preventative care, come in and get an adjustment to sort of stay aligned, uh, keep your back in alignment or neck or whatever problem you're having, uh, rather than let it get to an emergency type of situation. Yes, indeed. There's a lot of folks like that out there, by the way. So yeah. that's very sound advice from you. Take the preventive measure, come, and you can obviously avoid the problems that would follow if you hadn't come. Right. So I want to thank you on that note. And 
I, I guess yes. the only other point that I would make, Rocco, is that one of the things that I wondered about before I ever had a treatment was, is this going to be painful? You know, how traumatic is this going to be? Yeah. And, and one of the things that's so easy about this is it's really painless. I mean, mm -hmm. she's helping the pain to go away, and she's very gentle. So um, it's not, you know, a lot of people that would uh, be afraid to come into a situation like this because they're already in pain and they don't want to move. They're a little worried about somebody being abrupt yeah. with their back or their neck or whatever. And she's very gentle, and it's, it's a painless uh, um, treatment. Well, so not only is it a painless treatment, but it also takes the pain away quickly. Right, and right. on that note, I'd like to thank you, Joe, for coming down and sharing your experiences uh, with us and being a guest in our program You're as very well. You're welcome. Our pleasure having you on. Thanks, Rocco. We're now back with Dr. Lore. I must say, Daphne, Joe, Lee, very happy with the results. You've got, you've really changed their lives, doctor. Thank you. Great work. I wanted to ask you, how safe are these treatments that we've been talking about today? Sure. Chiro chiropractic is very safe. And compared to uh, the alternative of med medical alternative, which we already discussed, of pain medication and, and back surgery, it's very safe. And there are millions of adjustments given every day by chiropractors. And uh, the patients are satisfied, and, and they're very safe and very effective. We're literally down to a few moments left, Dr. Laura, sure. and I wanted to ask you, a very important question. I mean, you and your practice here on Shady Grove Road in Rockville, Maryland, have established a reputation of excellence in the field of chiropractic care. As you mentioned earlier, you've got over 20 years of experience. As we saw from three of your many patients today, the results speak for themselves. And I wanted to ask you, what would you say separates you and your practice apart from many of the others out there? Well, thank you, Rocco. That is very kind. I think one of the things that separates me is that I genuinely care for my patients. I'm gonna ask them about their lifestyle, about their home, about their work, um, about their diet, about their eating habits. And I'm gonna do everything that I can to give them a healthy lifestyle and help them to uh, function at an optimal level. And if there's something that I cannot handle, I wanna make sure that I refer them out. I have a professional network of other medical professionals that I work for, and if someone needs something I can't help them with, I wanna make sure that they get that help too. So I'm a generally caring doctor. Yes, indeed, and our research has borne that out, and not to mention the three patients that were here. You really care for your patients, it shows, and the results, again, are very powerful. And on that note, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Lore, for joining us, being a guest in our program. We'd love to have you back on again in the future. Thank you so much, Rocco. Thank you.